Chemical fire forced people to stay inside their homes over fears of the chemicals in the air causing respiratory problems. Tonight, that fire is contained and people can once again go outside. The fire broke out this morning at a magnesium plant in Bellevue. That's about halfway between Cleveland and Toledo. ONN's Kristen Severin spent the day in Bellevue and brings us new developments tonight. Smoke still fills the air here in Bellevue, but the fire is out. Now, some people I talk to who live not even a mile away tell me their concerns are just getting started. As fire and smoke billowed into the early morning air, people in Bellevue started to fear the worst. Look like a towering inferno. Maybe, what, 60, 70 feet up in the air, glow. It's a smoke, blue. All colors. Several tractor trailers in front of the Magratech factory caught fire. The company refines and recycles magnesium, and magnesium fires can't be put out with water. Firefighters used a dirt like substance to smother the flames and then let it burn out. George Rubel used to work there. Very flammable, it's like sparklers. School was canceled, and residents like Viola Garcia were asked to stay inside. She's lived near the plant for 35 years. She said it was the smoke that made her the most nervous. It's scary, it's scary because uh, I've got asthma, my kids have asthma, my grandkids have asthma, and what are we supposed to do? Very, very hazardous. Makes us like takes your breath away from you. Bellevue's fire chief said lightning could be to blame for starting the blaze, but they don't know for sure. Garcia says she's left feeling her neighbor is a little more dangerous than she thought. I've always been worried. The state fire marshal is on scene to determine the official cause of the fire. On scene in Bellevue, Kristen Severance, the Ohio News Network.